Hello, Cody Tucker, Clinical Director at OICU. We're going to be talking about uh, the Limitor drain and setting up. Um, this is the device that we use for all of our patients that are uh, getting it having a lumbar drain placed. So, first off, the Limitor drain, the device um, comes from the OR. It does not, it's not stocked in central supply or on the unit. So, the OR uh, provides this drain. Um, it will come up in this box. Inside the box, it has two packages. This one small package, I want to key in on this little item. This is clear, the package is clear, just do not discard it. If for some reason you're, you're placing the lumbar drain at bedside, all of this will be utilized. So there's that. And we'll go ahead and take out our lumbar drain. Other uh, equipment needed, a straight pole or IV pole. The Limitor level device is this. Does that also come from the OR? No, ma'am. The, the, uh, the, the device, the level device is kept in our 1711 supply room. Supply room. So this is, I call it a cassette. The cassette secures to the pole. Let me see. Here we go. It's labeled up. And you tighten it up to secure it to the device. This little slot, this is the burette, slides onto the cassette and clicks in place. Your second cassette, also labeled up, so we're putting it in the correct location. and securing it in place. Okay. So next, I like to secure the device to the level to make you more hands-free. Um, <clears throat> this is preservative-free sterile saline. Um, you can pull that out of the neuro cart or in our uh, Pixis. This should be located in all Pixis's. Um, so you will draw that up sterilely and then attach your preservative free saline to the stopcock here. And there's not necessarily a prime first um, to the patient or to the drain. So just making sure all the air is out of the system. Um, I like to just prime out first. So as soon as you see fluid dripping from here, turn the stopcock down, prime so there's no air in the system, making sure that this valve is turned up. So when, they're, when you're priming this burette, that your, your fluid is not all going down to the drain bag. When the system's primed, you turn the stopcock back off. This is when, if you are at bedside, you would hand it to the, to the uh, provider and they would connect it to the lumbar drain. <clears throat> okay, a few key points. Um, for lumbar, uh, the Limitor uh, drain itself so you will have a specific order of how much CSF to drain per hour. Um, with this Limitor device, if, you are, if your order is to drain 10 cc's, then you would need to prime this burette up to 13. So that would allow it to go up to the maximum amount of 23, which would give you your 10 cc output. Um, the other thing about a lumbar drain, <clears throat> there's not necessarily a level of the drain ordered, like our uh, EVD or ICP monitor. Um, 
this is more kind of patient preference or sp specific um, depending on if the drain is not draining enough output then you would lower the device to get the desired or ordered output or if it's draining too fast and causing the patient to have a spinal headache you could raise the device um, key documentation um, for your Limitor device um, would of course be hourly output, um, the color of the CSF, size assessment. Um, the, the patient is typically uh, head of bed flat for the first three to five days. Um, you can reverse Trendelenburg to, to get the head of the bed up, um, but making sure we don't have conflicting orders. Um, so if you're seeing activity um, up with assist and you know you're in that crucial three to five day timeline clarifying those those orders um, strict bed rest head of bed versus um, up with assistance so